Welcome back. Yes Bank unveiled its refreshed brand identity. The bank's new identity is designed to resonate with the evolving needs and aspirations of customers while reflecting its intent to go beyond just ticking boxes and enabling people to live each day to the fullest. In the line with its refreshed brand identity, the bank also rolled out an integrated campaign with the tagline Life Ko Banao Rich. To tell us more about this brand refresh, we are joined in by Nipun Kaushal, Chief Marketing Officer and Head CSR at Yes Bank. What is the intent and what do you aim to achieve out of this refresh? Yes Bank did go through its set of challenges. But I think over the last two, two and a half years, what we have achieved I don't think many of the financial institutions globally could have achieved. Having said that, uh, we, were, we are on the right track. And if somebody would say, how are we placed? We are placed in the pink of our health. Mm. And we have totally had a complete turnaround. Now, when you do a turnaround, there are certain expectations which the consumer also has. And more than consumers, your stakeholders or employees also have. So we embarked on this journey of thinking that, you know, okay, we are taking the right boxes, we are doing well. Uh, how about even, you know, re-looking at our narrative? Because I think what is, does the brand stand for was something which we had to really define. We just stressed ourselves and we said, okay, let us also look at refreshing our brand. So when we said refreshing our brand, the idea was, how would my logo look? Now, to achieve that, we said, okay, you know, let's do a consumer research, stakeholder research, and the research findings were clearly defining that your name is a very positive name, Yes Bank. Mm -hmm. So, people love our name as Yes Bank, especially our customers. Uh, other elements like blue, red, and the tick mark, very prominent. Mm -hmm. So, for us, the job was uh, a little more easier because we knew we are a loved brand by our consumers. But at the same time, how do we refresh it? Now, that's where we had the professionals like McCann Agency who came in, stepped in. Yeah. And we built this new narrative. We built the new design language, yeah. which also signifies our current position of we are soaring, we are growing. Mm. And, and that's how the tick became the tick with the bird, which is soaring new heights yeah. along with our consumers. The colors are more vibrant in terms of within the family of blue and red, which are much more digital friendly as well. Mm. And if you see the fonts, fonts are much more smoother. Mm. The way today, you know, you would see on an online space. So it, be, it becomes a little more warm, at yeah. least when you see it online. Sure. And I think those, those were the steps we took. And that was the reason we went in for this. Yeah, and you mentioned that you conducted a consumer research and they had a very positive uh, perception of the yes in the yes bank and also the tick mark. What else were the findings of, uh, you know, the research? How do they perceive yes bank today? And after this refresh, how yes. do you want the company and the brand to be perceived? Today, we have nearly about 43% market share of UPI. Mm -hmm. So every third transaction of UPI which happens in India goes through Yes Bank. So every third individual we are touching in India as Yes Bank. So having said that, and uh, the consumers were very clear. They said, you know, the way you guys have turned around, mm -hmm. the way our products are designed, the way our online journeys are developed, the kind of service levels on the online space that we give, I think we were very well ranked much higher. Hmm. So those are the aspects which came out in the research and they said, you know, don't change your name. Hmm. Because a yes means a lot. Hmm. And a lot of yeses turn people's life Correct. in the right direction. Yeah. So, you know, you always wait for a yes. Hmm. So that's, that's what came out in the research and we really wanted to build upon it. Yeah. And, and, and reach out to across segments, whether it is the Gen Zs or the senior citizens or the millennials. What does it really take? What does this entire exercise of brand refresh really take, you know, at a scale uh, in a country like ours where you have to change it across branches, across yes. your offices, yes. communicate and, you know, uh, 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 the fact that you are undergoing a brand refresh, not just to your consumer, but to your employees as well. So what does this entire exercise really take? So I, I think over the last two and a half, three years as Yes Bankers, the two or rather three big things which we really uh, went through and we developed was we kept our head high. Hmm. We became resilient and it was our agility which helped us achieve what we have achieved over the last two and a half years, especially on the financial terms or in terms of how we are responding to our customer or how our 
balance sheet looks like. So we were pretty attuned to pick up bigger challenges. Yes, it is a big challenge in terms of, uh, you know, changing everything. And when you already have a vibrant brand, how do you make it even more vibrant? But I'm very happy we have achieved that as well. And when you would see the new branding of Yes Bank, it is far more refresher. And, and I'm sure will be loved by all. Our employees are very excited about it. I mean, you know, we have been having some good news after the other. And adding to that, when you are refreshed, I mean, the word itself refreshed means it's a smile on your face. Yeah. So that's what I think our employees are very excited to see. We are very excited to do it. And, and this mammoth exercise actually looks very small because you have such high energies and spirits to deliver. Hmm. Okay. Now, moving on, let's speak about Life Ko Banao Rich, which is a campaign that you are launching along with this brand Refresh. Uh, tell us, how did you arrive upon the insight for this uh, campaign and uh, tell us more about, you know, what was your brief to the agency and how did it uh, come through? So, one aspect in the research which came out was that today people, you know, especially after the pandemic, there has been a mindset change mm. where people want to build memories mm. because unfortunately during that time there were certain set of uncertainties which creeped in. Mm. But today people want to thrive every day. They want to grow. Thrive every day. So, so the basis was thrive every day. Yeah. And we said, okay, uh, so the brief to the agency was, you know, this is one of the core insights. Hmm. And, and I think what the agency addressed beautifully was, McCann, what they did was that what we do, we are a bank. What we offer, we offer banking products. I mean, there is nothing more to add to that. But why do we exist as an organization for our consumers, for our stakeholders? So with these insights, the thought that came across was that the consumer is looking at building memories. Hmm. You know, you always sit back and cherish at the end of the year or after a holiday that how beautiful it was. Hmm. So, so I think with those insights, we said make life rich, not wealthy. Hmm. I mean, we can, you can make your life rich. A rich life is far different from a wealthy life. So the question of happiness, spending time with the family, doing things that you love and, and for sure the best banking experience Yes Bank will give you. So you spend more time building those memories, mm. life ko banao rich, banking hum kar dega. And this is such a Gen Z insight because this right. is the way in which Gen Zs also like you know go about their life, right. they go about as compared to like our parents or you know the older yeah. generation that believes in saving and now you know the generation is more about uh, how to make every day beautiful, how right. to make every day more lively. So with this, do you intend to rope in more Gen Z consumers, uh, get in more Gen Z consumers uh, for Certainly. your bank? Certainly. So we are looking because that's the population yeah. which is growing and India is one of the youngest Correct. in the world and it's going to be the youngest in the world. Sure. So I mean those are my prospective customers and maybe few of them are existing customers. Mm. But at the same time the millionaires, mm. especially the people in their mid 30s to late 40s. Sure. I think their mindset has also hmm. gone in for a change hmm. where they also want to live for today hmm. but at the same time secure their future. But securing their future cannot be as a barter of giving off today. Hmm. So I think that's a very very critical point. Sure. So that is also being addressed very well in terms of you know you build your memories we will support you with banking products and not only at the retail level, maybe at the MSME level as well. Mm -hmm. Because we've seen a lot of entrepreneurs coming up. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us today and thanks for sharing these insights with us. You're always welcome and thanks for coming over. With that, it's a wrap on Storyboard this week. You can catch all of our content on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Thanks for watching. We will be back same time next week. See you soon.